Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com, your boy's back and out and did it again. Damn, you dig? All right, we in here live, man. All right, so I was watching this right here, and I read the whole article. He has a couple of things to say and how he does things, right? But for me, I was looking at the title, which it hit a, a, a very special place right behind my heart like you know that little space behind your heart that's where it hit all right um yeah so the 100 percent correct way to structure a react app or why there's no such thing pretty much every single company i've been i've, I've been on or i have seen uh work with react or i have seen uh work with other frameworks right nobody does it the same way nobody guys right so why is that basically react is just javascript right there's really no such thing as a the right way to do react people come in and tells you and tell you stuff like oh best practices best, best practices best practices da, da, da. but best practices is good for who who created the best practices, right? Somebody might come in and tell you, hey, best practices is to do it like this, right? I was watching a, a tutorial from uh, Dan Abramoff, the, the creator of Redux, right? Um, I was seeing him, how he does things with React. And then I go and I see stuff that's on the React website even look the same, right? So it, it just don't look the same. Everybody does it a different way. If I was to show you the way how I did a React app in my last company to the way I did it in another company to the way how my friend does it in his company to the way another friend who works at a big, huge company does it is completely different, right? And I'll be honest, it's one of the problems with working with certain tools like React or Node.js or etc right there's really no standard meaning you can come in if you know javascript you can come in and build it however the hell you want right or like let's say there, there's a senior developer who been there for 10 years and he's like ah, you know what i make the calls and he does it however he, the hell he wants right nobody follows a guideline nobody follows a certain way to do things Everybody do it their own way. People set up folders differently. People set up uh, names of files differently. That's just how it is, right? It's it's just plain JavaScript, right? There's really no, or the, it's not really like a framework. I, I can't even call React a framework. This is a thing that I've been saying it too for a while. People keep saying React is a framework. React to me is a library. And that's how I use it. You know, it's just a library for virtual dom and and you know managing state well not really managing state but uh dealing with state and reacting the components that's it to me that's how i look at it right now i come from the background of ruby and rails laravel uh even ember so i know how certain structures when you work in in certain frameworks that come in and tell you, hey, this is how you're supposed to do it. Those type of frameworks, they have a structure. They have a way to do things, and everybody else follows it. So when you say, hey, this is the best practices, this is how everybody does it, everybody does it that way. When you go into somebody else's projects, they look exactly like yours. But things like React, where it's like more like a free for, or it's more like, okay, you know JavaScript, cool, create your own React component. That's it right that's how things work people come in and be like oh man you gotta do what packet like this you gotta do this and that like that guys get the idea out of your head there is no standard for uh, libraries like react because it's a library you know what i mean it's like you're using uh underscore right or low dash who the hell is gonna come in and tell you hey this is how to use low dash these are the best practices. This is how your folder is supposed to look when you use Lodash or when you're creating functions that are going to be exported. Get that out of your head. It doesn't work like that. The world doesn't work like that because every single company is going to be totally different. 
what you need to know is the concepts of React or concepts of uh, certain libraries whenever you use them. There is no perfect way of, to structure a React app. There's not because everybody does it completely different. Every single person that does, you know, looks at React, they do it completely different. I was watching a, a video from Traversing Media. Traversing Media does react completely different than how I do it. You know what I mean? And and that's fine. It's a library. It's we know JavaScript. When I look at his code, I understand what he did. I understand why he did it. Right? But I do it a certain different way. Right? There there is no like perfect spot, perfect structure. There is no a uh, perfect way to do this is JavaScript, right? It's that's it. It's JavaScript is a library. So get that thing out of your head to say, hey, we're doing it the best practices. Best practice to who, right? You know, it's like some people come to me and they tell me, hey, man, we, uh, you know, are everybody using Airbnb? I'm like, the Airbnb link thing, whatever. I'm like, no, because I use standard. I don't use semicolons on my JavaScript. I do it different, right? And this is something that, that happens all over because when you give people options, right? And you say, hey, this is something that's, you can come in and use this as a tool, then everybody uses it as a tool and they use it their own way, right? To build their own things, right? It's like, we both use a React, but we both could be building completely different products we're not building the same type of product you know what i mean it's like when you use something like ruby on rails it tells you hey this is where the folders are this is where the views are this is where you're going to put your javascript this is where you put your SaaS. it's always going to be there i could give you a a project form four years ago and it's going to look the same way today on somebody else's uh project because they have certain ways to do it. Is what is it? Convention versus configuration. Like, you know what I mean? Like, once you give people that option to say, "Hey, I want to configure this however the hell I want," then that's when certain things happen. Where it's like, what is the best practices? You know what I mean? What is the best structure? Uh, this guy he has his own way of of building, you know, uh, components and it's cool you know but even at that like when i see this when people come in and be like hey we create a component for every single thing on the page i always look at it funny because i'm like wait not all buttons are the same you know what i mean like you know it's like right here an example he has app button footer header and i'm like wait but button is such a uh, a thing that you use so many times is like even you know going back let me go back a little bit because one of the main reasons why components were created and why people are jumping onto components is so you don't have to rewrite them or rebuild them multiple times all you have to do is say hey we're gonna give this props we're gonna give this uh classes and pretty much that's it. It's like we pass down the props and we get to reuse this component multiple times. A lot of times people are not reusing most of the components that they're building. You know what I mean? Like, because you could build a component that's super complicated and you can't reuse it again somewhere else. So you have to build another button component. You know what I mean? Like, and that's like one of the reasons too, where it's like, man, this whole idea of keeping things best practices i always find it to me annoying and irritating not because i want i don't want to follow what other people are doing or how they do it it's just that everybody does it differently like it or not the only way to make people do it the same way is when you do something like ruby and rails and you say hey this is how we do it this is how everybody in the industry does it period if you look at i think somewhere in the react blogs they pretty much say like hey it's a free for all you can do whatever the hell you want use it as a library and that's it there is no structure there is no folder structure this because you know what i mean like 
The only people that could come in and tell us, hey, this is how you build a React app, is Facebook itself. People cannot, outside of Facebook, cannot come in and say, hey, guys, this is how your folders are supposed to be. This is how your things are supposed to be. Why? Because you're not the creator of this. You're not the ones with the power to say, hey, this goes and this doesn't go, right? So you have to go into the library itself and be like, hey, like, let's say an example. Uh, you have a component and the root, and then from there you have one that says app, and then another one says uh, containers, and then another one that says um, uh, functional uh, or like let's say dumb components. Unless Facebook puts it in the code where people have to put it in those folders, that same structure how I just said, People are not going to do it that, that way because everybody does it their own way. All right. You get what I'm saying. So, yeah, man, I love you guys. Stay up. Uh, guys, check out my website, codingphase.com. If you're looking to learn web development, um, I'm here for you. Basically, I, I created this website for you guys to just come in, learn, hit the ground running. You know, without the mumble jumble, without the big words, without somebody coming in, spending two, three hours explaining the history of something. Like nobody cares about that, right? Because you're here for a job. You're here to get your life together. You're here to make money. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm here for you guys to learn. And I'm a self-taught developer, just like you. So who's going to be able to teach you better than me? I don't think so. All right. So I love you guys, man. Stay up. CodingFace.com. Stay up. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Damn, you dick. Bye.